to add a cornice to the cabinet, select the cabinet to which you want to add it to and select the customize icon on the top of the left hand panel. Scroll down until you find the cornice option and click on the show toggle in order to open the carousel. In the carousel that opens up, you will be presented with profiles you can choose from either the corner subcategory or the pelmet subcategory. Choose the profile of your choice. And it will be loaded into your design. Similarly, to add a pelmet, click on the cabinet once again, select the customize icon and scroll down to pelmet and select the show toggle against the same. Once again, you'll open a carousel of different profiles that you can choose from. Open the pelmet subcategory and choose one that you'd like to add. For both corners and pelmet, you can change the offset. Simply open the corners drop down menu and in the offset field, type in the desired offset of your choice. The same applies to pelmet. You can even change the corners profile as well as the pelmet profile. Select the cabinet and go to the customize icon. And when you open either the corners or the pelmet drop down menu, you will have the option to click to change. From here, you can select a different profile. In addition to this, you can switch off different sides of the corners or the pelmet. If you scroll down to the visibility option under corners or pelmet, you can see that the left, right, back and front toggles are open. Supposing I switch off the left toggle, that means the left side of the corners will be deleted. And to make it visible once again, you can switch on that respective toggle. The same applies to pelmet as well. When I switch off, let's say the front toggle, that means the front side of the pelmet will be hidden. In order to hide either the cornice or the pelmet, select the cabinet and in the customize option, once again, click on the show toggle. And when it is switched off, both the cornice and the pelmet, if you should choose to hide that, will be hidden.